Hey, my friends, I'm Jeff Yaldin. On December 5th through 7th, I'm coming to your school community to spend time with the students, staff, parents, and community members to address what you as a community have all been going through. I know it's been really tough and traumatic, and uh, my friends, I, I need you to know that I'm sorry. But today I was speaking with your school counselors, administrators, and they brought up the pain and the sadness of those of you that were close to Robbie, and that tomorrow is the one year anniversary of his death. My friends, while I know that nothing I say can alleviate your loss, I do want to pay you respect for remembering your friend on this very day. It's important you know that I know that it's important for you that you feel heard and I need you to know that we are listening to you. Now listen, no school administrator or counselor is given a certificate on how to help friends after losing a friend to suicide. You know, there's the research, but sometimes you really have to connect with those people where they are to give them what they need and that's, they want to be heard and they want to remember their friend. And so my friends, I need you to know that although I am not physically there yet, I feel your pain and I am hearing about your pain and sadness and I want you to know that it's valid. But when I do get there, I'd love to meet you. I'd love to sit down with you. And I want you to know that I care and I want to hear more of your heart, thoughts and feelings as you remember your friend. But tomorrow is the anniversary and what to do. Listen, again, I know what the research says, but sometimes you have to go against the research to really connect with those that are struggling. And I take great responsibility in the work that I do, but it's a risk in helping those who grieve and how to process this loss and how to grieve through it on your terms. And so I want to ask you, would you be okay if I give you some thoughts, you know, my heart to yours? And if you're okay with that, I will continue to share. But hey, if you're not, I respect that. I'll allow you the time to get up and walk away. But I want to make sure that you know that it's important to process loss and to go through the grieving process and how you do it is so very important. So I want to give you some suggestions, but first I'll give you a second. My friends, I want you to talk about your feelings and thoughts. I think that's important. If you don't learn to speak it out, you're going to act it out. And so it's okay to not be okay. But what I always say is what are you going to do about it? Talking about thoughts and feelings is not a weakness. I think it takes courage. And so what I recommend maybe is you get together with a couple of friends, a couple of Robbie's friends, even his family, man. You got to spend time writing some messages of love. Maybe even write your favorite memory. <laughs> and then you share it all. You share it together. And you laugh. Maybe cry. It's okay. But you do this together. Another thing, no matter where you are, with the feelings that you're experiencing, and sometimes they're waving like an ocean, the waves are crashing down around you. I get it. Just always remember that no matter where they are, that the feelings that you're feeling, that you're experiencing individually, these feelings will pass. The ocean always calms itself. Take time to reflect. And I ask you, how do you take that memory and immortalize it by your own actions? Immortality is living on forever, but nobody is immortal. What is it that you remember about him that you can carry on with you that is immortal to you? And finally, my friends, it's Thanksgiving week, which probably doesn't make it any easier. And the idea of Thanksgiving is to be with those that you love and to be thankful for where you are in life. And, and even in the bleakest of moments, remember 
there is support, whether you see it or not. And so I challenge you tomorrow and moving forward that you find some attitude of gratitude in your life and the memories of your loss. And also, if you've been impacted by recent events happening at your school, very important. My friends, those we love don't go away. I believe they walk beside us every day. They're unseen, they're unheard, but they're always near. And they're still loved, they're still missed, and they're very dear to us. I know. I am so very sorry for your loss, my friends. And I want to encourage you to be in school, the safest places to be amongst friends and those that care about you. While I respect you honoring your friend, it's also important that you try and carry on with life. It's okay. I hope to meet you when I visit your community December 5th through 7th. And just remember, as you're listening to this, I am sending my heart to you. Love and light. Take care.